Leicester have made three changes from their dismal day out by the Thames on Monday. Everson is their goalkeeper. Ricardo and Evans come into the back four with Fass and Castagna. Tielemans, Ndidi and Sumari make up a three-man midfield with Madison and Barnes supporting Vardy in attack. Their bench, Smithies, because Ward's injured. Suter, Soyonchu's injured. Christensen, Almaty, Daka, Mendy, Pratt, Thomas, Tete. There's no Dewsbury Hall. He's also picked up a knock. Liverpool have got Alisson in goal. Their back four has been the same for a few weeks now. Alexander-Arnold, Canate, Van Dijk and Robertson. Henderson comes into the midfield alongside Fabinho and Jones. Salah is joined by Gakpo who moves from midfield into attack with Diaz coming in on the left flank. And they'll both look to have a go at Johnny Evans who's making his first start since November the 8th. It's blue shirts, blue shorts, blue socks for Leicester City in this first half, attacking the goal away to our left-hand side. Liverpool all in red, attacking the goal away to our right. The referee is last year's cup final ref, Craig Pawson. He's got Harry Leonard and Mark Perry in support, and Chris Kavanagh is on VAR. But it's Liverpool who are on the front foot immediately, with Diaz trying to get beyond Ndidi, who bites into a tackle and wins it in midfield. Leicester City to get forward. In fact, there has been very few chances at both ends of the field. Yeah, it's been a little bit cagey in some respects. It started so open, didn't it, in the first five, seven minutes. Barnes had that chance and I think Gapko had a chance. You know, it's there's a lot at stake for both sides, so it, it, it's going to be that way, I think. A Ball goal tends long. to open it up, doesn't it? Oh, he's allowed it to bounce fast and it's come back to Henderson, edge of the area after a long kick from Allison. Salah delivers it to the far post. Jones coming in! <laughs> and taps it home and Leicester's defensive frailties are exposed again why on earth did Valtfass allow that ball to bounce after it was kicked long by the goalkeeper it fell to Liverpool who constructed the attack Jones stole in at the far post he was found beautifully he stabbed it in and Curtis Jones gets his second goal of the season and Liverpool strike first at the King Power Stadium. Leicester nil, Liverpool one. It has been coming. It has. I don't know what he's doing. It's a great shout. Fast. He's, he's got his back to it. He should just be heading that. And Samari's let Curtis Jones go on the back post. A great ball from Salah from the right hand side. Lofted over to the back post. And Curtis Jones coming in, a bit like he did in the recent home games, trying to think who that was against. It's a nice finish. His left foot, half volley, calm. Oh, there's a VAR possible offside. Here's it Salah on the far side against Castagna. Well, I mean, they are checking it. Well, Diaz. I mean, it's. I mean, it's very, very tight. This is going to. I mean, this is a long time before the goal goes in. By the way, how far do you go back? This is this is from the inception of the move where Allison clips the ball over the top. Well, I think Diaz, fast. Diaz is onside. Well, if Diaz is onside, then the goal stands, doesn't yeah. it? I mean, it doesn't look, after we've seen the replay, and there, there doesn't seem to be any other infringement, and I think it's pretty clear that that's going to be a goal. No offside against Luis Diaz, and the goal stands. It is Leicester City nil. Liverpool won live on Talk Sport, and the first goal of the night is conceded by Leicester City. And the bad news here is is that Liverpool have the best Premier League points per game when scoring first and the fewest points dropped from winning positions this season. Sorry, Dean Smith. They've not had to do much to get in front. They really haven't. This Leicester side is so low on confidence. Well, it was only a matter of time, really, wasn't it? Let's be completely honest. Yeah. It's away by Johnny Evans up over the halfway line. Fabinho tries to send it long what's got to happen now is there's got to be a response because they did respond in the game against Everton here but so many times I've seen them this season Leicester when they let in one goal and then they folded like a pack of cards I just don't like the plan it's, it's a mixed bag sometimes they go long sometimes they're trying to play out I'd be going high tempo play in behind use your strengths get your pace in behind and get win some second balls well their strengths are the speed that Barnes and Vardy possess but and the brilliance of balls once they've uh, played Madison, they haven't used that no, have they? no and get Madison on the ball as often as possible but they've yeah. not laid a glove Gakpo into Salah back to goal is Jones he's shooting towards the far corner on the turn he swivelled he hits it and it's beyond Danny Everson and it's into the net 
and Liverpool are striking while the iron is hot. It's two goals in two minutes for Curtis Jones. Two goals in two minutes for Liverpool. And Leicester, once again, have been exposed for what they are. Dreadful defensively. Well, we're just talking about not laying a glove. Look, nowhere near Henderson. Can't get near him. Plays it into gap. Go turns. Takes his time. Four touches into Salah. Curtis Jones is going to be offside. This is going to be disallowed. But what a finish. Great little move from Liverpool. Well, actually, maybe not. This is really tight. As he takes the ball, he spins and he hits it early. It's a brilliant finish from uh, Curtis Jones. This is going to be a tight one. It may be that he is narrowly offside there. I'm not sure on this angle. Yeah, he looks offside to me. Oh. They're rolling it on. There, there. Is it? It's the pass from Salah. The pass from Salah, which leaves him on mm. the edge of the penalty area. But the back foot of Johnny oh. Evans is in the wrong position there. And that's going to be onside. Well, I tell you, we're, we're fortunate, obviously, to see the replay. And it's really hard for them to get the actual freeze the frame point, yeah. right the kick point is really when difficult he kicks to find it, yeah, because he's off now he's off and he's also off balance as well and they're trying to make sure they get the right kick point if you look we, we've got the benefit where Johnny Evans is running out and away but his back foot is playing him onside they've given it yep they have and that's going to be 2-0 it is 2-0 Leicester City 0 Liverpool 2 no offside against Jones nothing on about Leicester have given the ball away again and Salah has found Gakpo it's saved by Everson this time what on earth are Leicester doing they are folding they are melting well, their Castan shabby defence has been exposed for all its frailties Castagna played a 10 yard ball again I said it earlier into Ndidi with his back to play in his own half they get robbed should be 3 down and they're lucky not to be 3 down it's 2-0 here is Henderson running towards the edge of the box and trying to dart all the way through the defence. And he keeps... Uh, oh, Johnny Evans has gone wiring in. He's given away the free kick and then he's gone pointing in the face of Craig Dawson, the referee. And screaming at him, suggesting that it wasn't as clear-cut as Craig Dawson made out. Well, it was a nice positive run from Henderson. I think Johnny Evans got a fair point. He got the ball. Looks like he got the ball. Yeah, he did. He got the ball. Yeah, he got the ball. And it probably wasn't a free kick, was it? No. But when you're down there and the luck's against you, the luck's against you. Um, well, let's, let's get something right. Leicester's performance tonight, irrelevant of whether this free kick goes in or not, is not going to be uh, because of this free kick or a bad decision. It's because a complete lack of a plan, a complete lack of passion, um, a lack of desire to to fight for this club I thought they were dreadful on Monday I thought they were really unorganised and chaotic the previous week they were terrible on Monday this Monday I chaotic's think, okay if you're trying to win a game by up. scoring lots of goals and leaving yourself open chaos is okay if, it, if it's benefiting you with some goals but this is insipid yes here's the free kick to be taken by Alexander Arnold uh, left of centre right footed towards the far corner oh what a goal that is fantastic it's a brilliant strike from Trent Alexander-Arnold. And now the King Power Stadium does empty. Do you know what? It was very similar to the goal he scored at Chelsea a couple of seasons ago. A little touch from Mo Salah. He runs across, whips it in the top right-hand corner. Keepers that side, to be fair to him. We'll have to see it back. But it's a brilliant strike. Trent's been great again. Oh, it's a terrific hit from Trent Alexander-Arnold. And they are putting pressure on Manchester United and Newcastle as the season comes to a close. But Leicester's golden era is heading for an undignifying end. It's 3-0. Yeah, Lovely it's... little touch by Salah. A back heel into the path of Alexander-Arnold. And he just struck it so firmly, so true and so accurately into the far corner that Danny Everson got nowhere near it. Well, it's wonderful technique. Hit with great bend and great pace, but the keeper should be there. Simple as that. You don't, you don't get done on the uh, on the keeper's side, really. All goalkeepers, the top goalkeepers, don't get done where they're stood. He's guessed, he's moved across. Not taking anything away from the technical ability for what Trent's just done, by the way. But the goalie's, the goalie's, the goalie's at fault. 
It's the first time he's scored since the free kick against Rangers in the Champions League. But I'll tell you what, it was well worth the wait. <laughs> it's 3-0 to Liverpool. And it's been about as well, it's been much more one-sided than the scoreline suggests, actually. Here is uh, Madison cutting in field. Uh, wandering into uh, the middle of the park. Fast sweeps it towards the left. There's the full-time whistle. Listen to those boos. The Leicester fans stayed just to do that, I think. Exactly two years ago, Leicester City were having one of the best days in their history. Tonight, the darkness is descending. Relegation to the Championship is coming ever closer. Nothing is settled in defeat to Liverpool. But it's getting so close you can smell it. Liverpool still have the chance to dream of the Champions League. But Leicester's nightmare scenario is playing out in front of Dean Smith and their supporters' eyes. It's finished after a dreadful 45 minutes in this second half at the King Power Stadium. And it wasn't much better in the first half. Leicester City nil, Liverpool 3.